from the rapid rise in the adoption of EVs, both at the commercial, municipal, and residential level, to increase reliance on heat pumps and air conditioners to heat and cool our homes and properties. Electrification is on the rise. At AAP, we serve 5.5 million customers across both our regulated and competitive business. We know that our commercial and industrial customers are looking for solutions to reduce their energy costs. At AAP, we have a strategy to partner with solutions providers to do just that. The key questions that every end user asks are, what do I have to do to reduce my financial exposure to high cost energy? What will I have to invest? What does the payback look like? In the case of scalable software solutions like DemandQ, the answers are, leverage the existing equipment. We connect to existing building automation systems and or EV charging systems to automatically mitigate the impact of peak demand. No additional equipment is required. For example, DemandQ, a Boston-based company, has developed an intelligent demand platform that solves for coincident peak demand, the random event that occurs when a significant number of independent devices seek to use power at the same time. As in HVAC units cycling on during the hottest time of the day, or a large number of EVs simultaneously connecting to their chargers. DemandQ has a proven platform solution that optimizes demand and optimizes electric usage at CNI customers across the country. It's a proven and a patented solution that works. We've saved customers millions of dollars to date and want to save AEP and their customers millions of dollars going forward. EPRI selected DemandQ to participate in the 2022 Incubate Energy Challenge. While DemandQ has a significant track record, with over 70,000 billing months of data and a number of U.S. and international patents backing up their claims, AEP and other EPRI participants wanted to subject DemandQ's software and services to a real-world test, in this case, on their own properties. For our project with DemandQ, we wanted to walk in the shoes of a customer and actually have their solution deployed in one of our facilities down in Texas. We did that in order to learn about the customer experience all the way from the site selection and also the deployment itself. Running a pilot within a electric utility is not without its challenges. When working with outside vendors, cybersecurity is of the utmost importance, which required the AEP demand Q team to go through our standard assessment. In a perfect world, we would have deployed the demand Q system via a VPN connection. However, due to the network's team's availability and the desired goal of receiving market data during the course of the summer, it was decided to install a router at our facility to expedite development. We ran the pilot during consistently hot Texas summer days, which we alternated days with demand queue on and then demand queue off over a three-week period. On the chart, the light blue bars indicate when demand queue was on and the dark blue are the off days. It's plain to see that there is significant reduction in demand during the light blue on days when demand queue was optimizing loads. In summary, the pilot was a success. We reduced average peak demand and cycling load consumption. We maintained customer comfort. It integrated easily with the BAS system and we lowered the carbon footprint. And this translated into an annualized electricity bill savings of 10% for AEP's Kennedy, Texas facility. Moving ahead with demand queue is a straightforward proposition. The team, working in coordination with each utility, will 1. Determine scope, issues, deliverables of every opportunity. 2. Model the savings potential that can be delivered to each CNI customer. 3. Evaluate carbon footprint impacts. 4. Support operational benefits analysis. 5. Propose a rollout and deployment plan. For AEP, having just wrapped up this Kennedy test, our immediate next steps are to socialize the results both to our facilities and customer-facing teams. We have an emphasis on finding opportunities to reduce building energy usage via a centralized deployment that can span multiple buildings and seek to find a way to continue to work with the demand queue team in a mutually beneficial manner.